Hi, welcome back to Star Tropics, and welcome to well, where are we right now? Well, we're at chapter, chapter six. six. Yeah. yeah, chapter, chapter six, six is six. the place. Let's see how long this takes. Oh, oh, oh come my on. God. <laughs> <laughs> what you Star Tropics? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. see, they cultural eat jokes. <laughs> they they only eat pasta. That's all they eat. Yeah. <laughs> it's very I have nothing but pizza and a meatball. My name is Pep. Uh, Wait, my name is Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I I kind of like that guy. He's like, you want a map to the artist homes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo. <laughs> He's all out of Leonardo. Though. Yeah. Yes. And this guy doesn't seem to be wearing a shirt. It's just sleeves. Also, no. seriously. <laughs> No, you didn't see us. That was like 30,000 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> theme park. <laughs> Just theme a park. theme park. <laughs> That's the only explanation. I refuse to believe any of this is real. <laughs> Somebody is actually just throwing like a black cloak over over Mike and carrying him to the next spot. It's like Every they made the overworld of this place so big so that they will make you talk to all of these people with their horrible Italian stereotypes. Ah, pasta, yes. Let's take in the local uh, culinary arts. Okay, That's... now on to the main attraction. Oh, thank God. Oh, hey. Oh, no, duck feet. I know who was here. There's a... Statue there, except it's talking. Huh. If only we'd brought some dynamite with us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's very safe. Let's go rummage around in this guy's basement. Also, his basement is very dangerous. <laughs> 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 this Pinball. can't be up to code. Pinballs <laughs> everywhere. You're lucky Osha isn't around yet. Come for me to get a beer into my, into my basement. Oh, no, I died. <laughs> so that's what he meant by don't disturb my spheres. <laughs> da Vinci really doesn't want you to find his blueprint. I know, right? Ooh. So this is a platforming <laughs> level, and uh, it's kind of nerve-wracking. It's like, which way is the platform going to appear? Okay, that way. But you really did expect it to go the other direction. Also, there's this shit. Also, I, I don't know if, just in case I need to reiterate it, if you walk off the edge, you will die. So, do, do these things hurt you, or they just stop you dead in your track? Oh no, they hurt. They, they do like two hearts of damage, but they don't stop you. Uh oh. And I person. fucked that medicine, uh, why I don't you want go it. Get this medicine? It's <laughs> I... gonna be so helpful. Not really, this level is kinda short, and actually, I like this little puzzle. Oh, puzzle! Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> Except it doesn't go the way I want it to. <laughs> Why don't you still get hit by that? Come I know. On. I really wanted the no hit run of, uh, run of this level because it's so short. Mike, Mike Jones, Jones, Ace Pitcher, Terrible Pool Shark. <laughs> it's really more bowling balls. And inertia has no concept in this world, apparently. Alright, I mean, uh, friction. You learned psychic powers from a donkey! <laughs> <laughs> you cannot complain about the logic in this game. Speaking of physics, uh, you can't determine which way the ball's gonna roll when you hit it. It, it just, it's random. That's weird. Yeah, so it could roll towards you, it could roll away from you, who knows? Either way, better be careful and jump Try right away. Try your luck! Yeah. Mike Jones, come on down, we're gonna go play Plinko! <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Shut up! It's the game, it's not me! That really looks like something that you'd see in a carnival and not in a dungeon. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, I got these light levels down to a science. We're gonna have to... I gotta stop fucking up, so we'll need new material. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, that man. made sense. Yeah, you can shoot over I blocks. I this ball away with my mind. Mike just stares at the, the hole for a second. How did that happen? There's no way that could have worked. All right. Congratulations, Mike Jones wins a mini butt event. Puzzle solved. Well, that uh, wasn't so bad. Okay. Well, we're done with that. <laughs> wow, you've done it. You walked through this guy's basement into his guest laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I store all my desks and my chisel. And his oh, no, I saxophone furnace. Let me hold, jump over <laughs> all of these bits of it. And a hammer. What will we do with this? Uh, I 
that's let's fantastic. make some time to rob a bank. <laughs> like how he's been sculpted perfectly in plaster. Wait a minute, that's not a statue. Wait a minute, this guy isn't being drawn in the same. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Leonardo da Vinci. This guy I do actually like that existed. Touch. <laughs> I agree. Just put the finishing touches on this painting with the model for it nowhere to be seen. Damn you, Soda! <laughs> <laughs> soda, why? Uh, so I apparently. Or new marketing is camping is not shit! <laughs> soda, why? Half the calories, all the taste. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mike Jones, oil painter. <laughs> Mona Lisa really is cool. The Mike Jones Lisa, thank you. Wait, now you have really fucked up history, Mike. <laughs> also, we get a new weapon. Alright. Well, this painting would have been a masterpiece, but that hair. God. Now we throw katanas. Oh. Marco Polo didn't go to Japan! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember when Leonardo da Vinci was an anime fan? And we're flying now! Awesome! If it is oh metal powered, why is it producing smoke? <laughs> I, I don't know. Our wacky world's flying thing. <laughs> so, Leonardo da Vinci was pretty much a huge Final Fantasy fan. Yeah, he's got an airship and. No, Micah, not now. We're busy. Get out of my mind, Liquid! <laughs> <laughs> It's in Micah, my hair. What kind of crazy world is out there now? I think I really fucked up history. Micah, go to the Louvre and check the Mona Lisa. Tell me if it's different. <laughs> okay, so the, the aliens... alien invasion is the least of our concern. Yeah, the aliens know how to time travel now, but don't they need the book for that? I imagine. Let's have another copy of the book. I imagine they just hypnotized Doctor J and he just like gave them a surfing bird album. It's like, here are the secrets you know. Okay, Mike, I have a plan, but you need to do exactly what I say. Here's a list of Venetian politicians I need you to punch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to replace this episode with Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> Look, it's right, Soda. Let's have a little side hard. trip on Antarctica in order to get some life before we go there. Yeah. Oh, that's the whole point of this thing. It's just... We just, they just want us to go back into the helicopter now, the wacky flying machine. Huh. <laughs> this is like something out of Wacky Races or something. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, that's the inva That's the latest invention from that one jerk who always tried to win but couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember his name. Okay. Yeah, same here. Here's... We're, apparently we're, we're going to an Escher painting. <laughs> I don't know what Someone that's Someone forgot to build the roof of this building. I know. <laughs> weird castle. So, this level is a maze, but fortunately I know my way through it, for the most part. Good. Uh, well, don't... don't... I... Don't praise me just yet, because I know the first, uh, fork, which is the most important one. After that, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, now we're that's our country. And holes, of course. Yep, and holes. But we have the katana now, which is pretty powerful. Oh boy. It's bad that it's the same range and all of the weapons. I know, that's what sucks about it. Da Vinci original, the katana. <laughs> yeah, now we're whipping <laughs> katanas in front of us. <coughs> Unlimited katanas. No one shall waste my hands or steal. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, how shop your head off, you fucking asshole! <laughs> Mike is just really confused about what he's, uh, how he's fighting right now. <laughs> Just, I, can this get... I think, maybe I'm going to start throwing spears instead. I think he's confused about a lot of things right now. <laughs> I don't remember any of this from my history class. <laughs> I just ruined history. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Speaking of dead ends. So essentially, they just took the maze chapter from Startup Tropics and just decided, oh, we need another level like this. But this one has dungeons in it. Uh, but this one's yeah. a carbon copy of the previous one. So we're right back to the first area with all the copy-pasted holes in the ground. Yep, pretty <laughs> much. There are different ones, it's just that we haven't found them yet. 
It's like we're out of luck with those. I mean, in the first video, we uh, we fell in the same room like three times in a row when we were uh, wading through that snow. Yep. Oh, God damn it. Maybe this castle was built on top of that snow field. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we're there in the future. Oh it's all God. coming together. Theme park, like wait. Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Okay. Warning, we don't hold you accountable for dying in our theme park. By the way, <laughs> that's a pretty... That's a cruel trap right there. You see how quickly that thing disappears? Yeah. Good thing I cannot hesitate. Good thing I'm doing a no-hit uh, no run of this one-screen level. <laughs> 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 Fucking skills up in this bitch. I do like that you can just walk on the switches this in this game. Oh yeah, it would take forever with the amount yeah. of switches you they put in this game. Hop. You had to hop on every All single right. switch to find Oh, because I remember going in a straight you line. You should have done the cactus dance, Mike! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and these guys are a pain. It's really hard to not get hit by these guys. They take three hits from the katanas, which is just bad enough. There we go. I guess that is one tough skull to crack. <sighs> <laughs> also, I, I spend some time, like, looking around this room, and it doesn't occur to me I can just jump straight across for some reason. <laughs> I don't get out of here. Oh, wait. I don't know. I guess... Oh, these guys are also nasty. Swole... Iron guys. <laughs> Swole guy. No, what have they done to you, Iron Man? Uh, it's if you can stay away from them, they're fine and get them in, you know. But if they corner you, then they'll just do that little rush thing, and there's two hits right there. And I pretty much, as soon as I see this, I say, fuck it, and I'm getting out. Okay, at least they only hit for one heart. Yeah, it's just they're tough to avoid. Okay. It's still more generous than in the first game where such enemies probably will usually take something of four or five hearts. Well, I mean, if I were using the shockwave, it would take a good probably six or seven hits to do. Okay. Which way do I go? Uh, uh, left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. It's I, tiny swole guy. Tiny guys. swole guy. Tiny, huge <laughs> swole island. <laughs> And we chose poorly. <laughs> and let me guess, we're gonna have to go through this encounter again. Yep, I, I think you're realizing the pattern with this area now. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of clever, in, in a sort of clever way. <laughs> clever of a sort. Yeah. Uh, two and a half if they touch you, though. Huh. Okay, yeah, don't fuck with these guys, man. I mean, there's a lot more shit. bone in a whole skull than in just one cartoon bone. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, but they're vomiting bones it at you. They must have a lot just sitting in there. I don't know how yeah, that you works. You get hit by all the reserve. Oh, bone I'm not falling for your trap. Oh, mate, yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> now we have blue or er, blue green Zoda spawn seeing enemies. Yeah. Just, they just look like really nasty spiders. That's pretty much what they are. Also, I missed the crack in the wall back there, which... Yeah, back to the spore clopses here? Yep. <laughs> spore clopses. Hey, potion. That probably won't help me that much, because... It's kind of a short... Because I'm doing really good until this update. Which, right. You made me get hit somehow. Somehow that was your fault. <laughs> Time stream! Time stream. Um, so yeah, I'm still not seeing the crack in the wall. I'm, I'm being kind of an idiot here, not gonna lie. Yeah, just being a Mike Jones, are you? Because I thought that maybe if you <laughs> killed all the swole guys, it would open up that path, but no. And no, this is still just that. <laughs> yep, still happening. Still, still not getting it. Mike Jones struggles with object permanence every day. Uh, there. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, where's the crack? Uh, yeah. Awesome. That was rather cool. <laughs> that, that was not being situa uh, situationally aware of my surroundings. <laughs> Are you sure it's not color blinding again? Yes! <laughs> 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 
So I realized that using the Shockwave is a little better on these guys because it stuns them yeah, for more. Yeah, they die a lot faster. Well, it's just that it, it just shoots really fast, and the more you hit them, the more they get stun locked. And we're back in a circle. Good job. Ah, nice. And see an enemy's hurt, apparently. Yeah, there's a and use the potion in midair! Yeah! Alright, that was 90s as hell. <laughs> <laughs> just slammed a do. Slammed a do. <laughs> Bendy guitar. Slammed a do before falling to your death in a pit. Now that's radical. <laughs> guitar solo in the air. Very good, my chance. <laughs> Hair still waving for no reason, even though we're indoors. <laughs> Most excellent. It's conspicuously. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, hello! Oh, no. no. hi, right. Hi, no. alien worm. Hi, Brain. Yeah, sure. <laughs> ah. They just kind of show up, uninvited. And there's a dinosaur. Because, sure, why not? They had those in Venice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one was just made by Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Go, Mecha Godzilla! <laughs> I don't know why I invented this thing. It's not one of my good inventions <laughs> at all. One of my lesser-known inventions. Okay. <laughs> the unstoppable tyrant uh, lizard to be used for good, not evil. Ah, uh, no, no. What? Why did oh, this <laughs> again? Really? What? Welcome Round two. Why did you do that game? That was so cruel. <laughs> why is it so hard to hit? <laughs> <laughs> Very finicky ball. Um. So, fun fact is that if you... Now, you're probably looking at the Tetrad and how that room is structured. Uh, if you try to walk directly into it, you'll fall into another one of these rooms. Uh, <laughs> um, just yeah, so in some way you're still better off just walking in a straight line. Usually, but... because you don't know how many, you know... Ah, oh, damn it. You don't know how many times you're going to end up in the pit just, you know, zigzagging about, trying to avoid things you can't see. But every time you come in here, it's a fresh medicine. Yeah, but I said fuck that this time. Or no, that's right. There's one coming up. Yep. Yeah, I guess so, but it's also tedious as fuck. Tedious, no. but once you know what's in here, it's not difficult. No, it's not. Still, the swole guy got me like twice. That's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dumbass. Way to go. <laughs> Maybe if you were more swole, you wouldn't have this rub. Maybe if your hair showed up to be the correct color. Swole PT, ladies and gentlemen, called today. And you have to do the worm room again. Whatever these are supposed to be. I don't even know. We're fighting aliens now, so they're all sorts yeah, of weird things. Yeah, I thought things. for a second it was a switch that activated those guys. No, they just appear, they just, they're hidden, and then they just... Yeah. It's, it's all in the mind. I found that to be kind of clever. And more and dinosaur. I realized, no, it's just me without that. This game isn't that clever. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same game as the cactus, with the cactus dance in it, so... <laughs> And the horrible Italian stereotype. Okay, so I take the long way because I know at least that one's open. We did it. Good. Fifth Tetrad. No boss for this level. It's kind of disappointing. And we have the upside down hell block. This is uh, Tetrad. Oh, really wasn't too hard. Kind of a short chapter. Oh, uh, wait. No, oh, no. Oh no, it's Zoda half calorie. Not now, Louis <laughs> 16! <laughs> and this guy is a little different. He's got a thing in him. I think it's a chest burster. Well, that doesn't. That, that, that sounds fun. No, no, Mike, this is not radical. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> this is clearly not radical. Mike Jones is very easily amused. <laughs> so we've been f we've been forcefully ejected from this time and space into another one. This is this is clearly most unradical. <laughs> if I had to consider this either radical or not radical, <laughs> well, here we are.
Another uh, time and space. Yeah, exactly. Yes, here we are. Yeah, I love it here. <laughs> here we are. We're here. See you Let's next time. say Bulgaria. <laughs> oh, Lord, Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs>